Hey there, my name is Reverend Ryan, and we are Soul Evolution Collaborative, a nonprofit based in universal spiritual principles, offering possibilities for navigating the evolution of life and maybe doing it a little bit differently. And so this is Truth Be Told 2.0, our weekly series where we're changing the norms and looking at navigating this evolution of life in an authentic and intentional way. And so in that vein, today we are talking about the tyranny of the or. How when we get into that, it has to be this or that sort of thinking that we really kind of limit our possibilities and then limit the power that curiosity has to open ourselves up to maybe looking at life a little bit differently, looking at the world looking a little bit differently, looking at each other a little bit differently. And so today we're going to talk about the genius of the and and how the and really opens our worldview up, really kind of shaking it up and leading us into these spaces with curiosity. And in that curiosity, we learn things that we never thought were possible. So buckle up for this ride, sit back and relax and enjoy this episode of Truth Be Told 2.0. <music> Ah, the tyranny of the or. Yeah. That sounds so ominous, doesn't it? It is. It is. You know, when we're talking about this idea of shaking up our worldview or our perspective. And, you know, we meet the world obviously through our own lens. That's how we experience this life. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's just being aware that we're doing that. And then like with curiosity, opening ourselves up to that. And so I guess the thing I want to kind of start off with is like, how can we begin to lean into the end? How can we begin mm -hmm. to really get comfortable with curiosity? Because, you know, with curiosity, there's a little bit of a, there's a little uncertainty in curiosity. There's a little bit of faith. There's a little bit of not knowing the next step, just a little bit. And so I, I wonder like how, if we could begin to lean into that one, how, how do we do that? And then like how, like the outcome of that is really, uh, impacting how we engage with ourselves, with others, and with the world. And so, yeah, how do we lean into curiosity? Yeah. I guess first off. <laughs> yeah. No big, no big deal. Simple question. Yeah, easy peasy. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting because I, I think this is what this community exists for. I think that's really what Soul Evolution Collaborative is. And I don't know that I've ever looked at it this particularly. Like, we are here offering a way or ways to look at things differently. An and. An and. Yeah, we are the and. <laughs> or an <laughs> and, yeah. We are an and. Yeah, right. We're not. Yeah, yeah. We are an and, um, <laughs> which is a really cool thing. And I think even that can be scary to mm -hmm. take on that worldview, the, the and. Yeah. Like there is, we're going to go back to comfort for a minute. There is a comfort in knowing, well, you know, the, the perspective of like, well, the world sucks, but at least I know what to expect. I can count mm -hmm. on the world sucking. Right. And yeah. I think that was kind of the first, my first like endeavor into and thinking, <laughs> you know, when I, when I first found new thought, it was the, the lure of it was like, oh, the world doesn't have to be the way I think it is. I think the world is this way. And I thought I wasn't, I was at, uh, I was just like, the world is the way it is and that's too bad. And I just gonna, it's just gonna happen the way it's gonna happen. Yeah, we're at like the victim of it, right? The victim yeah, of it. Right, right. And when I kind of started to realize like it, it doesn't have to be that way, that not that I can control the world, not that any of us can control the world, but that we do have influence over our experience in the sense that if I always think I am the victim of circumstances, then I'm never going to have a choice within those circumstances to even try anything remotely different. I'm just going to let it happen and getting, it's like getting dragged around. I mean, it's really looking back on it, it's kind of what it was. It was like getting dragged around by circumstance to circumstance to circumstance. When the end offers yeah life is going to happen and and yeah and 
we can respond differently or we can learn from that or we can use what we've learned from that to create things so that doesn't happen again or it doesn't happen that way or whatever. And this could be anything from, you know, how I show up at a job or how I've shown up at jobs to, well, I don't actually fit in in jobs. I'm going to go make my own or, <laughs> you know, like from that to relationships to um, to how I look at world events that are happening. Yeah. Right. You know, I mean, uh, um, didn't think we we're going here, but uh, you know, with everything happening with Israel and Palestine right now. And I think it's really easy to see things one way. This is the only way to see this, which removes the humanity from the whole thing. Right. We're not looking at the humanity. And I think the end offers us a way. It offers me a way to see the humanity in the whole thing. Like these are all people that we're talking yeah. about. Like, the news shows numbers and I'm like, no, those are, those. that's just not a number. Those are actual people, right? Well, I'm glad that you said that because like the and actually speaks to wholeness, which is what we talk about. The, like the, the, the wholeness of life, which means like all the, all the experiences of life. Um, and I think it speaks yeah. to that. Yeah. That, that idea of the and like the next steps, the next possibility the the looking at the the humanity the experiences the things um that we experience on a daily basis it's like the, the, it feels like the and holds that wholeness yeah. it feels like the and is the container for that yeah and i think that's been my like my big takeaway from this whole you know spiritual journey or whatever we're going to call it is it didn't i didn't feel whole before I can feel whole now and have things about my life that I would like to be different. Yeah. Right. But I can see it differently now before within this perspective of the whole rather than that kind of, I don't know. I, I, I almost hesitate to say like the victim mentality. Cause I think that gets overused and I think it's, it becomes a very gaslighting thing, but yeah. Uh, society does often teach us to be at the whim of life. Was right? it a very disempowered? Yes. Yes. Sort of framework, yes. Yeah. yeah. And this is a, an empowering framework when we're willing to look at what is from an, it's, it's kind of like it, it gives a, an objective viewpoint, vantage point of life. So I can still have all my story and that I've made up and whatever else is going on, but it also gives this like objective perspective of what's going on where we can remove that story and, and then decide to engage in the story. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, look at it and say like, Oh, this is the story I'm telling myself about this. And also and, this, yeah. this, 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 and this. And so yeah. I think it does allow us to feel what we're feeling and whatever the source of that, whatever the experience that is or whatever the situation, and then begin to look at the, the next thing or that like out from that, out from that. Yeah. Um, I think that it also empowers us to actually make changes in our world, like our you know, the systems and frameworks and the things that um, can disempower and disenfranchise and marginalize people. Like those are present. And, and in that presence of that, we still can begin to move in a different direction. And so we don't have to say, oh, all is lost. Right. We might as well just sit in our own little spaces and do our own little thing. But it, it allows us to, yes, realize there are these things that are going on that are challenging. And we do have opportunities in our own little sphere of influence, our own little places to begin to move in, in a way that shifts and, and changes those things. Yeah. 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 It's interesting because it's really, it comes down to like our worldview, not just like our faith worldview, but like our, our like, our, literally our take on the world how do we see the world yeah. are is the world good do we see good where we look and things happen but 
or do we look do we see everything as bad do we see kind of everything just as is and then we create our own perspective of that are people good or pe whatever like the uh, the world view and i think typically the world views that tend to run the show are this very dualistic either or good or bad yeah and i do think we're evolving like as a as a people <laughs> I think we are evolving beyond the good or bad, the either or. I think we are evolving into and and an and worldview where nothing is inherently this or this. It's it's both. It's and it's more yeah. than and we can see that. And I and I kind of see that happening more and more, just even in the world now, where uh Things that I think would have been seen as good or bad are now being looked at from multiple angles. Hmm. And it's like, oh, yeah, well, it's it's and it's not just one. It's never just <laughs> it's never just this or this. It's as much as we'd want to. And I don't even know. I mean, we, I think we think we want it to be that way, but actually it really yeah. shrinks our experience, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Who well, wants to be the just? The just. Oh, well, it's just that. It's. It's just Dan. It's just Ryan. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but there is, yeah, I mean, I think it's that comfort. Like, there is comfort in knowing what to expect. And I think there is discomfort in the and because it's not just this or just this. Yeah. It's yeah. everything. Everything in between what I thought it was. Right. All the right? in-betweens. Yeah. Well, when we talk about the tyranny of the or, you know, tyranny seems like a very, whatever, well, tyrannical word. <laughs> um, but it, I think that's what happens when we kind of began to just operate in that sort of framework. Then the tyranny of it is that our, that we are kept, our experience is kept small. Our experience yeah. is kept limited. Our experience is kept within certain boundaries. Yeah. And then we can't like experience the fullness of that yeah. individually or collectively. Um, and so beginning to yeah, move or recognizing that one, I guess recognition is the yeah. thing. And then really practicing the and because it is a practice. Right. And then you feel a little bit more freedom like, oh, OK, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I could practice an and in this circumstance or this circumstance. So then we begin to kind of like get this freedom moment, this liberation, uh, liberating momentum of living in the and um, yeah. individually and collectively. And I'm, we're looking for the day where living in the and collectively is like actualized in really powerful ways for sure. Soon, soon. I can feel soon. it. Soon. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. That we're moving well, and that I think direction. that's the um, the interesting thing about the and is it's not like it wasn't before. Yeah. It's just a growing awareness of. And so we are, we have always been in the and, and part of the and is room for, dis room for choosing or, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah, I think that... Yeah. Isn't that the choice in it all? It's not that I necessarily get to control my experience, choose my experience. I do get to choose my response to the experience. I get to choose the story I'm writing for myself. I get to choose whether I want to live in either or right now or in both and. Yeah. Uh, or or within the both and, am I, am I, you know, if I usually see both and, are there times where either or can be necessary. And I think one of those things is like in setting boundaries, mm, you know, yeah. we tend to think of boundaries like, I really don't like it when you blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not actually the boundary. The boundary is if you don't stop blah, 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 I will not blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And that is an either or either, it, yeah. either you do this or I do this. And that can be actually a really healthy thing within both and. and yeah and without without both and without the and i think that either or becomes can be can have a tendency to be unhealthy the unhealthy either or yeah uh, but well, it does like, give us that room that space either or is kind of like tight jeans and and is kind of like the the gray sh uh <laughs> jogging pants or the you stretchy know, <laughs> this, oh yeah the stretchy like drawstring uh jogging pants. i mean it is because there's it's yeah. there 
and then there's room for more if you need it. Yes. Yes. You know, for all I will tell you, I will never go back to non stretchy jeans. Let me let me tell you. It's a whole it is talk about worldview changing, life changing experience, stretchy jeans. (laughs) Cause they don't like they used to look like stretchy jeans. Now they look like jeans that just happen to stretch and they are but you can do all sorts of stuff with that. Oh yeah. I'm all about it. All about it. Anyway. Anywho. <laughs> New world views. <laughs> ah, so we're just uh, taking off those tight jeans and relaxing in those sweatpants of the and thinking, expanding our possibilities through leaning into curiosity. And so thank you for uh, tagging along for this conversation. And so if you are interested in this conversation and maybe some more like this, we invite you to join us on Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern for the gathering. Uh, you can look at our website, soulevolutioncollaborative.org, and you can find the sign up there and the link and all the info, as well as all the events that are taking place here at Soul Evolution Collaborative. Dot org. We're like daily trying to like just live in our jogging pants, basically, is what we're that that's the, the new motto of Soul Evolution Collaborative is living in the jogging pants. And so if any of this interests you, if you vibe with any of this, please uh don't feel free to look at our website and join us for any of the events coming up. If we don't see you at any of those things, we will definitely see you here next week at Truth Be Told 2.0. 